Well, hey everybody, Captain Dave Schneider, it's a guide's life. Dogs are barking in the background. Uh, just got in actually from um, driving around on that another little lake. It's actually, I don't, it's not a big secret. I don't know why I'm making it a big secret, but I'm actually doing two little lakes near Stick Marsh. Um, uh, one is Garcia Lake and the other is uh, Kenansville. I believe it's Kenansville. Kenansville, I think is how it's said. Uh, Kenansville, they're both pretty neat looking lakes. Um, and I've been told that they both have a reputation for being good fisheries. Uh, Lawrence contacted me and asked me if I was available to, uh, to do the sonar uh, recordings for these things. I shot some video today to kind of teach you how to do that. Um, working on that and getting that together. I've also got a video that uh, just about have ready to go from a, a nice guide trip that I did with a husband and wife here the other day. Uh, actually in really cold conditions and we caught them pretty good and I thought it was I thought it was good content. The shiner bite was uh, was just okay uh, but we've we, we got into a good artificial bite uh, no big ones. We had, I think we had one that was almost four pounds. Uh, but anyway, that, that video is coming out as well. Uh, and uh, probably I'm going to try and get these two set up so that they just load consecutively over the next couple of days here. Tomorrow's big day, Super Bowl Sunday. Uh, I hope everybody gets, to, gets together with family and friends and, and enjoys it. It's become such a national holiday, even with all the things and the nonsense that went on with the NFL this year. Um, I know I personally am going to watch with a great deal of interest and excitement. Um, so, and, and I, if you are too, well then great. If not, go fishing. <laughs> I'm actually going to be getting up early again tomorrow morning and I'll be finishing Lake uh, Kenansville in the morning. I've got about three more hours of work, I would think. And I'm going to be doing that. Uh, beyond that, I've got some friends uh, coming over to my son's house. A uh, good coaching friend, a good teaching friend of mine, Paul Marweed from, uh, from Alpena is going to be in town and, and we're planning on getting together and watching the football game. But I want to show you here. Check this out. Check this out. I want to show you how filthy. Look how dirty. It's this road. These lakes. And I, one of the reasons I don't fish stick marsh really is because of all the dirt. Now I've covered. He, he, and, and the reason I'm showing you this. Here's a tip, guys. Um, if you're gonna if you're gonna travel to a lake that you know you has some dirt road and stuff like that, and you're dealing with stuff that looks this bad here. If you're in that kind of a situation uh, where uh, where um, you're going to be dealing with this, cover the boat completely. I've got my boat completely covered. Uh, I mean, sealed up as tight as I possibly can. Get everything off the decks and what have you. I've completely covered it, and then and then you just drive. I've tried so many different ways. We had the same problem in Alpena and up in northern Michigan. Some of the places uh, that uh, that we fished at, but at the end of the day, you cover it all up. And you drive out now you can see it's a mess but just the boat and the, the undercarriage and you know the, the the motor's a little dirty here as well you can see some of the dirt and the dust on the motor we'll get all that cleaned up no problem uh, but we keep the dirt off the carpet and and all of those kinds of things and that's that's what you want to do i used to think oh i'll drive slow and and I'll, I'll drive past, you know, and, but eventually somebody's going to come flying past you. And, oh, it's so frustrating uh, because up in Michigan, you know, there's a lot of really good fisheries in, that are on dirt roads. I literally, I went to Stick Marsh twice. The second time my boat got so dirty, I said, I'm never doing this again. <laughs> and I never went back, but it's a great place to fish. And, and so are these other lakes, Garcia and Kenansville. And uh, I want to say it's Big Cypress or Blue Cypress. I'm, I'm Cypress Lake. Anyway, it's a big one. Uh, they're all right, just right next to each other. The crazy part is I had to drive like 35, almost 40 miles to get to uh, Keenansville from Garcia, even though as the crow flies, they're about seven miles far, seven miles away from each other. So that's kind of funny. A couple of things too. You know, I told you, we talked about, oh, what's the etiquette and all this kind of stuff. We talked about all that kind of thing. I had another deal today, man. I had this guy, I was driving back and forth on the grid. I'm trying to do the grid. And, and he just keeps kind of working along. And eventually, I mean, I kept kind of going around him and stuff. And finally, he's like giving me the, I waved at him, you know, and he wouldn't wave and, and everything. And I, and I think it was actually a guide with a couple of guests because his guests were waving and smiling and stuff. Again, I assume that it was a guide situation. But eventually I went by and the guy, and the guy has just kind of put his arms up in the air and kind of gave me the huff and puff. And, and I just said, man, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to map the lake. You know, I, I'm, I'm trying to go around you, <laughs> you know? So anyway, I had some more of that nonsense today. But the other thing was, it's just so funny. Here I am up in Keenansville and there's just, 
I mean, there's probably 10 fishermen on this entire lake. And I'm going back through a back area on the outside of a hydrilla line. All of a sudden I hear this dude, hey, Captain Dave, it's a guy's life. And I look over and sure if there's this guy, his girlfriend, or it could be his wife. They were kind of waving and everything. And so I, but it is, his name was Garrett Carter. So shout out to you, Garrett. He's from Jacksonville. He drove down to fish uh, in Keatonsville today. So Garrett, if you're watching this, shout out to you, bro. Um, he had a nice little Triton boat and he was out there fishing. He, he gave me a little lake report. He said he had spent a lot of time way back in the back end, um, which is something you tend to do this time of year. Uh, but, but he kind of struggled. I saw him, his trolling motor was pretty pretty well packed with grass as he was coming out of there and he was trying to get that going but in any case he he wound up getting out in the hydrilla flats much like you'd see in harney pond and that kind of thing where you got you got big hydrilla uh, patches off you know kind of almost offshore if you will just you know all the way from the bank and he said that uh he when he got out into that hydrilla unfortunately it was the last just about the last hour and a half where he, he fished but when he got out in the hydrilla he started catching them so he was pretty excited uh he said he didn't he came all the way from jacksonville and he didn't get skunk so shout so shout out to you garrett thanks for watching man i appreciate the shout out that you gave me on the lake it always it just amazes me then people like know who you are. <laughs> it's kind of cool. I had these two dudes. I, I I I had a couple of guys from from Canada stop by the house and come up, and guys just freaking out like, "Oh my God, I can't believe I'm standing here at your house!" And and he came in, and my wife took some pictures while we were talking. We were just talking about the lake, and they're actually come up. They fished the 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 I don't know if it's called the Can Am or the there's some kind of, some sort of a big tournament going on this week. And it's Mexico, Mexico and Canada and American anglers. I'm not exactly sure. I think I think Roland is Roland and Scott might both be fishing it actually in retrospect, but um, but they're all they're on Lake Okeechobee. And he it was just kind of cool. It was just pretty cool. So anyway, listen guys, uh, I'm got I'm gonna hit the sack here. Captain Dave Schneider, uh, it's a guide's life. I appreciate you checking in on me uh, and uh, and gosh darn it, man, I'll I'll see you guys tomorrow. Do me a favor, hit the like button. Hit the share button. Hit the subscribe button. Man, we're, we're rocking and rolling, man. Things are going so good. And, and I owe it all to you guys, man. I appreciate it. Captain Dave, we'll see you guys tomorrow.